Hi, this is Gene Jensen with BassResource.com. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about fishing bridges. I've got a, a bridge right here under, uh, that I'm underneath. I've caught a couple of fish here today. I don't know if I'll catch any uh, right now, but uh, I'm going to talk about kind of how you attack a bridge and, and what are the ways that I uh, will fish a bridge. First of all, my favorite time to fish a bridge is uh, when there's current, either when they're drawing water out of a lake or whether, you know, or, or if I'm on a river or a creek that has a bridge across it. Uh, bridges have pilings. A lot of times they have rocks that come down on the side. Um, and the bass will position themselves in predictable places when there's current. Um, you know, the places that, that, they will, uh, that they will position themselves is just outside of the current or, or behind the pilings so it breaks up. Uh, you know, where there's a current break, so they don't have to work as much to stay in the same place, but the current itself is bringing the bait fish by them. So the, the places that I look to, for the bass to position are on the corners. Let me take my camera off, I'll show you. Well, it's not coming off, hold on a second. Okay. On the corners of the riprap, behind the, uh, the bridge pilings, and also if there is a... Uh, is a place where where the uh, where the bottom comes up and then and then back down they'll be positioned and on most of the time there is on a bridge or something like that they'll be positioned on the down current side uh, waiting on the bottom for the fish to come by and they'll just swim up and grab one and go back down those are the places that I uh, personally will will target the things I use are um, a shaky head a uh, a uh, crankbait. Uh, right here, I've got a a, a Strike King uh, 5XD, which is uh, what it runs 15, 15, 20 feet deep. How deep does it run? Hold on, I got it written on. It runs 15 feet deep, and that is where the top of that um, that hump is, and that's where the fish have been hanging out today. Is 15 feet deep. Uh, I get to try out my new handle. I've never. Um, Never been able to, I mean, I've never bought a aftermarket handle for a reel. I actually won this in a contest on Bass Resource. It's a 100% uh, carbon fiber handle uh, made by one of the Bass Resource sponsors called, uh, called Hog Tech. It's a brand new company. I think they just launched early this week. But uh, I won it in a contest, and I, I never, hardly ever get a chance to enter those contests on Bass Resource because I'm on staff. But it was, they, uh, they ran it in a way that, that, you know, we were able to, that we as staff was able, were able to enter that contest and I ended up winning one. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, they're, they're pretty high end, it, it, it lightened up the reel quite a bit. So I'm trying that out and at the same time I'm fishing bridges. So I figured I'd just make a video on how to, how to fish these bridges. Now, the current right now is, is going that way under the bridge, going away from me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish every single corner. There's four corners of the riprap. I'm gonna fish the back side of every single bridge piling. Oh, and another thing that I use to fish is uh, the bridge pilings is a drop shot. Okay, so I'm going to throw it at an angle underneath the bridge and I'm going to work myself across that corner trying to stay at about 14 15 feet deep. I'm going to do this at every corner. Now, now I'm you know I'm going to gradually work my way there because I've still got it, you know, I can still fish the pilings and stuff like that. But like I said, I either do this with a, a shaky head or a crankbait, or I'll even use a jig. Spinner bait, if it, you know, just about anything that's a, a moving bait or something that's bottom, bouncing on the bottom. Bass are going to position themselves in those predictable spots. Right off of where that current comes over top of that riprap, they'll be sitting right there just waiting for uh, the bait fish to swim by. Okay. And then when I pull up to the, to the bridge pilings, I'm going to grab my drop shot. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually not even let it go all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna let it drop part of the way down. And then I'm just gonna let it sit there and shake or I'm gonna let the current carry it. You know, up, you know let, me, let me go over there and I'll show you. It's easier for me to, to show you than it is for me to try to explain it. All right, move this over here so you guys can see me fish this bridge piling. This bridge piling, it's not very deep. I, I mean, I'll do this with a, a bridge piling that's even 50, 60 feet deep. I figure out about where the fish are holding. Right now they're at about 15 feet. This bridge piling, I think, is in 20, 25 feet. And I'll pull up to it. And I'll just pitch right up against it. Well, 
That wasn't exactly up against it. I'll pitch right up against it and I'll let it drop down to, I'll count it down to 15 feet. And I'll just let it sit there, okay? The deeper the fish, the easier, the better this, uh, this technique is because you can, if they're 20 feet deep you, and 15 feet deep, you can uh, put your boat right over top of them. It won't make any difference, okay? I'll try to get as close to that bridge piling as I can. There's a little shelf down there, a little brace, whatever you want to call it. And they usually hang right up underneath that brace on this bridge piling. There's one right there. Did he stay on it? Nope, he just bumped it. And I'm just gonna, and I'm just fishing for the suspended fish that are around these bridge pilings. And if the current's really flowing fast, which it's not right now, I'm going to uh, let the current take it around the backside of that bridge piling, and then I'm gonna shake it. And that's usually when they hammer it. I want it to look like a worm is crawling up that bridge piling. So as close as I can get to it as I possibly can, the better. Closer, the better. Okay, and then I'll move off to the corner and I'll fish the corner with a crankbait or a jig or you know shaky head or something. And then I'll go across to the other corner and I'll fish all the bridge pilings the same way. But that's basically it. That's, that's how I attack a bridge. Uh, other things to look at, look for when, uh, when fishing a bridge is maybe out a little ways, one way or the other, you'll see an old, you'll find an old roadbed uh, where an old road used to be before they built the lake. Um, look for that and you'll be able to uh, you know, you'll have a whole different place to, uh, place to fish. Like right up here, there's a roadbed that runs right out here. And there's actually a utility pipe that runs under the, under the water too, and the bass will hold onto that. Uh, just look all around the bridge. A lot of times there's rock piles or deep holes or things like that. Lots of places for fish to hide around them, and bridges are an, an absolute fish attractor. So um, I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, like I always say, visit BassResource.com for the answer to your questions about bass fishing. And have a great day.